All right, welcome back everyone once again to the FMTV studio right here in Barcelona. Now, right, we're going to speak about FWA, Fix Wireless Access, and who better to do it with than Ericsson and Verizon. Steve, Justin, thanks so much for coming to see us here at the FMTV studio. Thank you. Thank you. Now, FWA has been a big topic over the last year or two, even further, um, and I'm very excited to hear what you guys have been up to. So perhaps, Justin, if we could start with you to, to give us a bit of a global view of why there's such interest in, in what the story has been thus far. Yeah, absolutely. Well, I mean, one thing, FWA has been around for a long time, right? Um, we're seeing a lot of increase in uh, just business adoption and business interest. And I think really what's fueled that has been the carriers really deploying more and more 5G. We see it a lot with Verizon and, and others across the globe. Um, just that proliferation of coverage has really provided a better way that we can take advantage of that. Now, at the same time, too, we're still seeing 4G as a viable technology for backup or, or a failover or primary if that's the best thing that you can get. Um, and so much so, you know, we're invested in it because uh, we just launched our second really FWA targeted project, uh, the X20. Uh, we launched our X10 last year and the X20 this year. And so that, that just speaks to the investment that we're putting into that global uh, market. Excellent. And, and Steve, you know, um, Verizon's been open and, and very uh, positive about FWA. It's clearly a part of your network. Can you tell us a bit of where it fits in your strategy as, as you work on your nationwide network and improving that coverage? Yeah, so you know, as we roll out the coverage, one of the things that's a benefit for us is our ability to offer broad, broadband internet services uh, across the United States. So as we roll out the coverage and 5G gets more expansive for us, we can continue to make this now a primary use case for broadband internet for our customers. Whereas Justin mentioned in the past, it would be more as a fail safe type opportunity or for different limited use cases in the IoT space and stuff like that. But now as 5G rolls out, it opens up the door for us to start doing that so we can get into you know markets where we might have not had wired capabilities and it opens up the door for us to, to start using um, it in other solutions as well. Mm -hmm. and, and Justin, uh, speaking to why you're both here, right? You're sitting next to, to Verizon. So obviously you've been working together. Uh, you're here in Barcelona talking to folks about it. Why don't you share a little bit about that partnership and how that's worked out? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, our products require cellular technology, right? So it's like sort of a, a match made in heaven. Um, we're all about cellular intelligence, really helping our, our business customers understand or even uh, managed solution providers understand how well the network is performing and maybe where it's, it's not performing at times, making sure that we can react to that properly, um, having different failover mechanisms and so forth. And so um, having a partnership with someone like Verizon is just key to that, being able to have a trusted partner in Steve that we, we can you know, sort of work through development and use cases. Um, and then that continues all the way through the sale uh, to a cost mm -hmm. business customer. Yeah. And, and Steve, you know, from your perspective, from knowing Verizon and speaking to you guys frequently, it comes down to that customer experience, right? So how does this partnership and FWA more broadly, you know, help address that, that experience for your your subscribers. Yeah, so I mean, obviously, we were one of the early adopters in partnering uh, when when uh, Cradle Point pre, pre Ericsson uh, had come out, and uh, it's been great because we've been in it together to go jointly with customers, understanding what their needs are. Uh, as Justin mentioned, our ability to work together to drive the right outcomes and products and services has been helpful to us because then we can offer this in certain products and solutions. Uh, but also um, our ability to leverage certain tools that we don't want to invest in. So there's capabilities for management tooling perspective. There's parts of uh, the uh, analytics and stuff of the network that we have, but we can now couple that with the work that we get off of the products and solutions that Justin and uh, Ericsson offer. And so when we marry those two things together, and then when you start thinking about 5G and the advancements we're going to be able to do and really level up the use cases that mm -hmm. it goes for, uh, that lays a huge foundation for us to really go attack the market and uh, our customers uh, with a premium experience in a lot of different ways that uh, we weren't talking about just a couple of years ago, right? Awesome. So, you know, you mentioned there that it's no longer fail safe. You can provide as we go forward towards 5G additional services. So I'd love for you guys to, to end here on a note about what to look forward to when it comes to FWA. Where will we be as this uh, progresses? So maybe, Steve, we can start with you. What's, what's next? Yeah. So um, when I think about the evolution of FWA, I'm actually thinking about it more uh, from evolving from broadband and internet more into access and infrastructure and the ability for wireless to become a part of building network solutions. So um, as you speed forward, and this is already happening, but uh, 
our ability to use it as access, our ability to tie in endpoint security, uh, AI and analytics is gonna become a big part of this and, and how to be able to, to measure and have visibility and transparency into these things, the configurability and automation of the solutions and dynamically be able to change things. And, and lastly, just think about slicing and what we could do with applications yeah. and services on top and kind of, uh, kind of elegantly marrying the, the router with the network and giving controls to the customer so they can manage the experience will become really important. Great, just to send, Justin, any thoughts? Yeah, there? just to expand upon that, just, uh, you know, we've, we've really had a best effort type of service. And I think uh, there's a lot of business customers that are already adopting it or evaluating adopting it or over 35% actually. And um, I think that's great. But I think going forward with uh, partnerships and with Verizon, we can see guaranteed services like a wireless MPLS type of service. And then I think also just the managed services capability. You know, we're finding over 60% over of the customers that we've talked to really want managed services as part of their FWA program. And so the ability to, to offer solutions that are tailored towards whether it's Verizon providing as managed service or another SI. Brilliant. Well, gentlemen, I know we've but scratched the surface of this topic. So I appreciate you taking the time. It's a great story and lots more to come. So we'll look forward to hearing from you about that. Absolutely. Thank, Thank you. you.